So here is what I would call, you know, my first success. It was made after three or four days at a workshop uh, that I had uh, hoped to have taken with Dion Arbis, but it was the summer that she decided to leave this world. Uh, so I never met her. Uh, but uh, my teacher was a guy named John Benson. And uh, he, after looking at my pictures for the first two or three days, uh, shook his head and just said, you know, this workshop isn't really about horses and cows and barns and things like that, that maybe you can get your money back and go back to your agency. And I said, no, no, John, give me a better idea. And John sort of looked at me and just said, well, hmm, why don't you take a day off, Arno? And I said, you mean literally? Yeah, just, you know, Wednesday, don't take any pictures. Thursday, show me what you, what you start, start on Thursday, kind of. So I followed the advice. You know, it was a five-day workshop, and I forgot Wednesday. And I found this mirror behind the, one of the barns. And I brought it up to a hillside. And that's when I made this discovery that the camera could be the photographer. The camera could take this picture. I don't have to be behind the camera. I can put the self-timer on. This is before Cindy Sherman, Francesca Woodman, people that you may not know, but the genre of the selfie. This is 1971. And uh, I took my clothes off because I wanted to see what I looked like naked, but I didn't realize the exposure would be the way, it would be more of a silhouette, but I love the silhouette. And, and I love the effect of this picture as if, you know, I'm looking at my own grave. So it's like a picture, you start by looking at the end of your life, you know, 52 years ago almost now. And uh, it's ever since then been, been kind of a, uh, uh, f uh, a foundation for a line that you'll read here in the show, you'll see it. It goes, art is risk made visible. And for me, it was a big risk. I, I didn't want people to see me, actually. I didn't know what I would get, but I knew that I had taken a day off and I had an empty blank canvas to work with.